My boss, Kelly, is yelling at the kids again. She is white again. She paused the DVD to explain big words, to explain Freedom Summer. Brian and Jack are asleep. They say that Brian and Jack hate movies. They say adults use them as pacifiers. Leon is asleep. She is frustrated. She doesn't understand why the five-year-olds don't care about the civil rights documentary. Why they'd rather color than talk about colored only water fountains. Watch children their age getting hit by hoses in Birmingham. Children their age in jail singing songs of freedom with bloody knees and bruises with a respectable, nice white lady. I say, what you're seeing right now, Kelly, is instinct sending messages to fingertips to draw coping in the forms of houses that they cannot live in. You're watching blood rush to eyelids, keeping them closed. You're talking to small bodies with generations of trauma and wondering why they're not being triggered in a way that you would like, why bodies are fleeing and breaking down. She screams, why don't they care about this, upset. Like, she's a hero for showing up, a hero for being a good feminist, a hero for working here of all places. I say at five, they do not need to be told what racism looks like. They are very aware of the monsters under their beds. They are the same ones they watch follow their parents out of the house every morning, the same ones that can't pick them up at 3 p.m. The monster is caught in their throats in public school classrooms, won't let Brian play outside anymore, labels black and brown children as dangerous. The monster judges Jerlicia by her name, Okiagani by his accent has already decided their fates, prison or college. The monster drove the Carters out of the South, the Andersons out of Guatemala. I say, do you remember that those are slave masters' names? I say, do you remember that you have a slave master's name and they can see it all over your face? That you're afraid, that you scream when you're afraid. This should not be new for you, Kelly. You have worked in classrooms before. I say, you cannot save these children from themselves, Kelly. I say, my kids know exactly what is going on. Birmingham is not over. They have not stopped opening hoses on children. Ferguson is not over. They have not stopped opening bullets on children. The Mexican border is not over. They have not stopped building fences on children. Freedom Summer doesn't end when the DVD does. And at the end of the day, when the last child gets picked up, you get to leave this side of town leave all of this behind, they do not.